Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Cooking Out of Doors of 1960, which was sent in by Rachel, thank you Rachel, we're going to be making the tinned herring and tomato sauce with fresh tomatoes sandwich. First thing we have to do is empty the tinned herring and tomato sauce into a bowl and mash with a fork. Then it says to add some vinegar. Um, that's some vinegar. And pepper. It does not say how much. Then we're to put that thickly onto bread. No, doesn't mention butter. And top with slices of tomato. Okay, let's give this tinned herring and tomato sauce with fresh tomato sandwich a go. It's actually not bad. The tomato sauce has a little onion in it, a little garlic, a little sweetness. I like herring. It's a tasty fish. I like smoked herring better. Um, this is okay. I do want to plus it up. First, we're going to season the tomatoes with salt and pepper. I'm going to add some fresh tarragon. I think that'll go nicely with the tomato tomato sauce, and even the fish. And a top piece of bread. Okay, let's give this tinned herring in tomato sauce with fresh tomato sandwich plussed up with a little fresh tarragon, salt, pepper, and a top piece of bread. Go. So tarragon has a slight licorice-y kind of flavor to it, and it goes really well with fish, it goes really well with tomatoes, and here it's doing both. Um, of course, salt and pepper on the tomato helps because that gives us a little seasoning on that. And the top piece of bread means I can hold it like this without having to use a plate. I have to say the original tinned herring in tomato sauce with fresh tomato sandwich wasn't horrible. Um, I liked it. I like tomato sauce. I like herring. I'm going to give it a five. Plus up with a little salt and pepper on the tomato, some uh, tarragon from the garden, and another piece of bread. Six. I'm definitely going to finish it, uh, but I don't think that I would ever make this one again. Um, just because, I don't know, so many other sandwiches to get to, and this one was fine. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow.